welcome back in this video i will show you how to send the filter id or list view id of any object from the list view to apex so i want to show you how to send this list view id or filter id to apex using visual force page and apex programming language so let's start first of all i will go to my developer console and i have created one visual force page where i have set the standard controller to account let's save it and let's go to the button which i have created so if you want to know how to create a button and add it to the list view page then i will drop the link of the video into the description so this is the button which i have created and here you can see if i if i go to edit and if i select here uh, visual force page then the, the visual force page which i have created is not shown in the contact drop box so i have created a visual force page named test and it is not visible here so for that we have to pass some attributes so first attribute is extension and after that we have to pass one more attribute which is record set where so we have to pass record set where and we have to use the plural label of the object on which we want to place the button so we are placing the button on the account object so the plural level of account object is accounts that's why we are using accounts here and after that i have set the extension attribute to my controller because here i want to use a custom controller that's why i have set the extension equals to my controller i will save it once i save it and go back and refresh this page then the visual force page will be visible to me so i will click on edit and see if i will i am able to access that visual force page or not so in url i will select visual force page and here you can see test is visible so now i have set the content of this button equals to visual force page then i will click on save now we will write the code to find the filter id or list view id of this page so for that i will go to my controller and here you can see i have created one constructor my controller here i will create one variable string filter id and i will write controller dot there is one method code called get filter id it will pass the filter id of the page to this variable and after that i will print the filter id system dot debug filter id and let me print the variable filter id here and i will save the code now once the code is saved let's go to the page here i think the button is also saved so let's go to the page and refresh the page and now once i click on the test button this test button then it will pass this filter id to the apex and it will be visible into the debug log so let's click on the test button now i have clicked on the button let's go to here and click on logs and as you can see one log is generated let's open it and you will see the filter id let's copy it and confirm if both the filter ids are same or not so i will copy it here you can see current if i go back here you can see all accounts uh, list view is visible and if i replace try to paste the new filter id then it will be same and once i enter it you will see the same list view or filtered page will be opened so this is how you can access the filter id of any list view page in the apex code that's it in this in this video thank you very much